Hey, what's up, FitStem family? Welcome back. Today, I'm going to give you the top 10 mistakes when it comes to dealing with the home gym. These top 10 mistakes are based on our experience and hopefully it can help you save time, money, and energy that is not going to be wasted. Do not buy any equipment without the proper warranty unless it's gonna be from a non-retailer, such as Facebook, any other platforms that are gonna sell on social media. Those types of sales, most likely are not gonna come with a proper warranty. So be careful of that. All right, let's face it guys. Some of us, most of us, we're not gonna be able to repair anything like this when it goes down. So we encourage a warranty because without the level of proper training, proper certification, we're just gonna fail at it and it's just gonna create hit. Also, it can cost lots and lots of unnecessary money and most importantly, create a safety hazard because if we're not equipped with the right equipment to fix this stuff, it's gonna lead to dangerous. The second mistake that we ran into was the failure to inspect our floor. Because if you look at down this grade right here, we did not realize how much of a downgrade it was. So as you can see this weight, I'm gonna do a proper demonstration for you, as I just place this dumbbell down, and naturally, it just slides all the way down. So as you can see, it is not level, so it can create a lot of dangerous, dangerous incidents that can occur. So the solution for this is pretty simple, you guys. Make sure you fix the entire flooring to make sure it's completely leveled in here, or you select a location that already has the level floor that is needed for a gym like this. The third mistake that we ran into, guys, is improper inspection of the equipment once it arrived. For example, if you come close over here, after proper inspection, once the service guys left, we found out that this had a defect in them. Now, this may not look hazardous, but after time and time of not looking into it, it can create a very big hazard and cause all sorts of dangerous incidents, which we do not want. Also, come over here. We realized this when we started to work out a month in and noticed that the cables, while doing the exercise, as you can see there, come closer. As you can see there, we had to put in tape so that it doesn't rub against this plastic piece so that it doesn't create damage. And as you can see, I pulled it off. It's already starting to tear up that tape, which we're gonna have to reapply uh, later down the line. You don't wanna do that. So the solution is to properly inspect your equipment prior to the service members leaving, or else you're gonna have to call them back, make an appointment in this time of year, in this pandemic, and it's gonna take quite a long while. The third example, you guys, I want you to come down here real quick. This is our leg extension leg curl machine that we love dearly, and as you can see, by basically looking at it with your physical own eyes, you're not gonna notice that there's a defective equipment that's sitting right here. So, I'll show you what I mean. Let me mount this thing right here, as if I was gonna work out. For a properly working leg extension machine to really run smoothly, you, when you curl up, it comes freely, as you can see, and the weight's lifted up. But when you go down in the negative, Boom, it's already hitting you. You hear that click? My legs are not fully extension. It could go back more. We want it to go back more to get that proper leg squeeze and motion of the full rep. Now I have to stop there, right, right there, for it to not bang the weights just like this. We don't like that at all. So, for you to save this time and for you to save the energy of not having equipment that works, please, please, please make sure you inspect your equipment prior to these guys leaving. We cannot emphasize it enough. Please do your homework. So thankfully, because of our warranty, we were able to get on the phone, call the service guys to come today, which took about two weeks lag time for they to eventually get here. And as you can see now, they're replacing our defective uh, leg extension and leg curl machine. So please, do your proper inspections. Make sure that your equipment is properly working before you guys send these guys on their merry way. So you don't have the same problem that we run into. How is it? It's good, it's great. Now it works real well now. As you can see, you can't even hit a clang in the bottom, see? You get the full extension, you get the full leg extension, see? All right, we wanna take a special time here to thank our buddy Jaime, who's been so present during our whole transformation of this gym. And we want you to know that you also have Jaime too. 
We're gonna put his link and his business down at the bottom. So please, don't hesitate to support him. We highly recommend him. So please, check him out. The fourth mistake that we ran into, as you can tell, I'm a little bit cold right now. It's mid-December here, and we have to start thinking about the temperature control in here. Make sure you have a place inside your home where you're gonna do this home gym that you can have access and control to the heater and AC 24 hours a day. Because from our example, we train in the mornings. It takes us nearly 30 minutes to properly warm up our muscles before we can actually start training. So, get a thermometer. Also, make sure that you select a location for your heater that's gonna be safe and conducive to your training method. For us, we chose this area, and I know our buddy and subscriber, Just Win, had mentioned that this is not safe because it was his friend had gotten hurt. But with our training, we do not run on the treadmill. We, we walk at a moderate speed, and we take special care when we're on here, as if it was life and death. You should too. Find a proper location for it. So one, it's gonna be in a safe area where it's not gonna be bothering you. Two, it's gonna be in a location that's gonna provide the most heat or AC to wherever you're working at so that you can be comfortable while you're training. So the next issue that we're gonna be talking about that we ran into guys is measuring the approximate square footage. Thankfully, because of the experience, I always carry one with me. So, whenever you need a measurement, I'm always there. But, for a much more serious purpose, we were so happy that we failed to find one of these and not measure the proper square footage of this room. What happened to us when we did that? We ended up ordering equipment that was larger than our square footage. So we had to improvise, making the adjustment for the equipment to fit nicely, as you can see here. So, break out one of these, measure the width and the length of your entire location that you're gonna be putting this gym in, and bring that over to your local retailer. Tell them what the approximate square footage is so that you do not, do not, not donut, run into the same problem we did. Oh, what the? You guys see a problem here? So it leads us to our next mistake that we made, accessibility. Make sure that the gym that you're planning to put into this space of yours is easily accessible because one of the reasons that's gonna discourage you from going into a gym and having a great workout is the ability to get to and from it. If it's a lot of work, extra work to get to a place where you want to do more work, it's highly likely that you're going to get discouraged and not want to come and work out and make all kinds of random excuses and fail to meet your goal and deadline. We do not want that to happen. So let's make this place accessible, easy to get to, safe to get to, and a nice enjoyable place to make GAMES! Yeah! 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 All right, you guys, what I want to talk about is the level of noise. Now, because we're courteous with our neighbors around us, we want to notify them that we're going to be yelling, grunting, moaning, and basically putting ourselves to the edge of the limits. And when that happens, we're going to say nasty things that are not going to be comfortable for surrounding people. So our solution was to notify our neighbors to let them know that, hey, we're gonna be moaning and groaning and grunting and we're not actually fighting each other. So don't call the cops, okay? Also, we wanna make sure that we insulate this area too if we do not want uh, to disturb our neighbor. Because there's an old Bible phrase that says, thou shall respect thy neighbor. And we're gonna follow that. Hey, what's up, man? I'm here to look at your dumbbell uh, uh, set. Yeah, man, you want it, it's gonna cost you $100,000. So, man, I gotta take this thing. All right, do you see a problem with this? I mean, we obviously exaggerate the numbers, but do not rush into buying your home equipment. Make sure that you're doing the proper research. Make sure that you're doing the proper testing on these equipment. Make sure the type of equipment that you're ordering is gonna be needed to your training level. And lastly, make sure that your level of commitment is gonna be there. Because oftentimes we see and hear about individuals who purchase home gym equipment for the sake of the one month motivation, and once that dies out, it's collecting up spider webs and dust and all that thing, and now they're looking for a place to sell it on offer up. So don't be like that. And another solution that we were able to come up with is, is maybe look at smaller pieces of equipment where you can use for about 25 to 30 days, and at the end of that term, you don't like it for whatever reason, you have the ability to return it without costing you any money. So look into that, you guys. 
Oh man, gyms are closing again. I don't know, but it's December and it's gonna be the new year. So I should probably wait till they open. Let's wait till 2021. I'm just gonna wait, yeah, I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, you know, I don't care about my health. I'll just wait for another 30 days. Does this sound like you guys? Procrastination on your dreams? Well, we decided to procrastinate too earlier this year, but we took matters into our own hand and accessed what type of situation this was. For us, our health is the most important thing in our life. And without proper health, we are not gonna be the legends that we wanna be. We took action and we took the risk of getting our own home gym and it's paid off tremendously, you guys. What I'm here to encourage you to do is to maybe put the news away, maybe put the magazines away, stop listening to the negativity out there that's out in the world that's set for your deterioration and start thinking and assessing the proper decisions that's gonna make or break you, okay? And one of the things that we wanna really emphasize is the proper equipment that's gonna help you be more healthier, fill with vitality, with more vigor, so that you can have a happy and sustainable lifestyle. All right, you guys, we finally reached the last mistake that we ran into. And because I appreciate you guys so much, I'm gonna get it out right before I start my workout here today. And let's not waste any more time. So the last thing you wanna look out for is not to get ripped off, you guys. Don't make hasty decisions off of things you see on the internet without doing the proper research. Also, we wanna do the research on a type of customer service that you're gonna be getting if you're getting a, t a home gym with the number one topic we talked about, which was a warranty. If you don't have the full warranty, you're gonna create a mess, headache, and unnecessary cash flow that's gonna make this a huge, huge mistake in terms of an investment. The last point I wanna make you guys is make sure that you're gonna be inspecting the quality of these equipment, okay? Now, when we talk about the non-retailers such as Facebook groups or, or Instagram where you purchase off the non-retailers, we wanna make sure that when we're going out there, we inspect everything. Tell them to turn the equipment on. Can I use it for a second? Can I use it for a day? Sometimes, close mouth do not get fed. Okay, you guys? Thank you so much for joining us and we appreciate each and every one of you. If this valuable information was somewhat useful to you, please share it. And also, if you haven't already and you stumbled upon our channel, thank you so much. Please subscribe, hit the bell so you do not miss anything. We want to encourage everybody to not procrastinate, take action because we do not know when this lockdown is going to be over or when this whole thing is going to be right again. We don't know if it'll ever be right. So please, please, please listen to these mistakes. Take it from our experience so you do not make the same mistakes in terms of money, energy, and time. Ultimately, we want to reiterate that you're a part of our family. And when you come to our home, we want to provide as much value as we can based on our experience so they can help you. On another note, if you know of anybody who can use this information, please share it with them so that they can use our mistakes to make an informed decision for them. Well, what do you think about our mistakes that we went through? Do you think that's gonna help those that do not have a home gym or are thinking about purchasing a home gym? Or is anybody out there that already has a home gym that ran into mistakes that we have not covered already? If so, please comment below. Let us know these mistakes so that in turn, ultimately, we want these mistakes and experiences to help other people make better decisions because ultimately, we wanna help all that is involved. So peace out, see you next time.